Hey there, my gorgeous friends on the internet. I'm so incredibly excited today because the full stack React course has been fully remade from scratch. 2023 edition with the latest stack, next version 13, Prisma, TypeScript, all that good jazz. And I'm so happy to say that it's available now. So if you go to developbyad.com, log in. If you already bought the course, good, that's free now. Go get it, the update's free. If you haven't, get it and you'll get free updates in the future. So. In this episode, I just want to go and show you the project and the tech behind it and just go in a deep dive. Okay, so let's have a look at the app that we're going to be building out in the course. So we're going to be building out this full stack e-commerce website, fully integrated with a database, with webhooks, with Next.js version 13.2.4. As you can see, uh, we have the latest and greatest. So that's amazing. And as you can see, we have our page here. We have certain products and these pages are also cached and served as static when we're pushing it up live so they load up instantly really bloody quick uh, we can add products to cart as you can see we have interactivity adding to cart there uh, it updates our cart here as well where we have also have some animations let me just make this bigger like that add to cart look at that how cool is that so let's add a couple of products and as you can see one of the previous problems in the course was that we didn't really persist the data in our cart, but now we will. So check this out. If we refresh the page, we still have those items in the cart, which is awesome. But I can also just go over and do a sign in with Google, for example, or GitHub or whatever. I'm going to show you how to do the integration super easily. But we'll sign in and look at that cool we have the user signed in we can sign out we can view our orders as well uh, but look we have the same items in our cart which is awesome and here we have awesome animations going on as well so removing stuff see how cool is that and if our cart is empty we'll just display an empty cart uh, but let's go to checkout and see what's going to happen then check out boom look at that how cool is that and not only we're prepping an order here, we're also saving this to the database right now. So check, take a look. We have a Postgres instance here and we just saved a new order here with the ID, the user ID, uh, the amount, the currency, the status as well, which is quite cool the way we're using it here because we're setting it as pending until they actually pay. So you can actually see the difference between abandoned cards and cards that are fully completed. And we also have a payment intent ID associated here so this belongs to user now which is really cool because the system that we have is once you log in we're automatically going to create a stripe user and as you can see we also have a fully integrated stripe elements on our page rather than redirecting over to stripe which i think is giving you a more seamless experience so here we go how cool is that and then we can also do dark mode as well and that's going to save the user's preferences and our um card details here and everything is going to go to dark mode as well which is really cool but that's a 424242 here 4242 just to complete this and pay for it oh and i also want to show you this right we have one product with 24 dollars here now check this out i can just go and update this and add more and it's only going to still keep one order and just update our order right here so as you can see it says the order amount is 24 Sorry, like $24.99. Uh, but if we wait a bit here and check, it should update to the new value right there. Look at that. How cool because we modified our card. So we're not creating new orders every time a user just goes and checks the card and adds items to it. We just do a, a quick update to our database. As far as for the front end, we also use a Zustand for any client side. Uh, so as you can see here in the cart, we're actually pushing it in via Zustand. And we have certain client side uh, checks here, like is open or which page we're on and sending the payment and then as well. Uh, that's all done through client side Zustand. So let's pay for it and see. Let's add A, B there for the postcode. And look at that, payment has been placed. And if we check now, we essentially are running a webhook. Uh, if we check the code here, we're running a webhook with Stripe uh, that it's gonna run every time a charge succeeds. And when the charge succeeds, we are gonna up update it with Prisma. And as you can see, the payment is set to complete now because the payment went through. So that's awesome, that's really cool. 
as you can see, your order has been placed. Check your email for receipt and we can check the order page as well. Or optionally, we can go here to the orders and click there as well. And look at that. We have our order reference with the status of complete. Uh, we have the items as well and the total. So that's awesome. All right, so that's gonna be it for me. Head over to developbyad.com to check out the course. And I must say the difference between this update and what we had a year ago is so massive because the technology has evolved so, so much. And these practices, I feel like, are gonna stick for quite a while now. So I really highly recommend it. You're gonna pick up all the latest skills and you can apply it to future projects. And not only that, you're gonna have a kick-ass portfolio project now that you can add and get hired with. Uh, it's just a full stack e-commerce. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's saying something, right? And I also want to say that no man is left behind. So if you run into any issues regarding any course, there's a new Discord set up right now where you can join and ask any questions and you're going to get all the support necessary to get you through and complete this. So really excited. Thank you so much for all the support and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.